Let's make a budget-friendly chicken pot pie and honestly this meal is so comforting, so delicious and it's under a hundred bucks to feed a family of four. So first preheat your oven before you start and then to a pot add in your oil, onion, carrots, let it soften then add in your chicken fillets. I'll give you the measurements at the end. Then add in a teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste, a teaspoon of mixed herbs and a teaspoon of chicken spice. Then give that a mix. So you can add in black pepper if you want at this stage. Then once your chicken has halfway cooked, add in your mushrooms. I used two punnets of mushrooms here. Now, if you notice, this recipe is doubled to the original quantities. That's because I like cooking in bulk. It saves me a lot of time and money. Take a sachet of white onion soup powder and mix it with 100 ml of water so that it has no lumps and pour it into your mixture. Then follow up with another 150 ml of water. Then add in 250 ml of cream. This might sound so decadent, but this is gonna make two batches of your chicken filling. Let that simmer for a further 10 minutes until your chicken is fully cooked through. And in the meantime, you can add um, your seasonings if you like extra seasonings in your chicken. Take out some ready-made puff pastry. This is just supermarket puff pastry and take the lid of your pot to cut out the perfect shape for your chicken pot pie. I just pressed that down a little bit more and then I had the perfect size for my chicken pot pie. Now, once that has reduced and your gravy is thick, take out half of this mixture and reserve it for either a pasta, either another chicken pot pie, as I said. This mixture freezes really well. Then take a spatula and clean the edges of the pot and then add in your perfectly cut pastry on top of your mixture. Poke a few holes in it so that the steam escapes and that you don't have a soggy pastry on the top. Then pop this into the oven until the top has golden brown and caramelized slightly on the edges. Then cut it into pie pieces, serve and enjoy. It goes so perfectly with a side salad or just on its own. It's hearty, it's comforting, it's everything you want in a pie. 